So today I'm going to show you how to remove parasitic isopods. Um, they're a really common disease, especially when you deal with hunches of these wild-caught shrimp. Um, they're a parasitic isopod that uh, lives under their shell. You can see it there. It'll just show as a big lump. Um, what you want to going to do is uh, take like a straightened piece of metal, um, like a paper clip. Um, I'm using a staple here, or something like a fish hook, um, and you'll just reach up under the carapace of the shrimp. Uh, you'll hook onto that uh, big mass in there and just pull it out. And that's actually the isopod. Um, so they just feed on the shrimp's blood, basically. Um, but you'll just pull that out, put the shrimp back in. Um, then he'll always have this dome right after. Um, that'll go down with the next molt. I mean, he's really pale right now just from the stress of being moved around, taken out of the water. Um, but that bubble will go down once he molts next. Um, and like I said, it does affect most species of saltwater shrimp. This is a skunk shrimp here, um, exact same process, just scoop it out, put him back in the water, and uh, here he is. You can see that bubble there, but yeah, well, after his next molt, that'll be back to normal. Here he is going back into the tank, you can see that air bubble under that shell, that'll go down within, well, the air bubble will disappear within a couple hours, um, here he is the next day. Um, you can see it's just the shell's bowed out, but with the next molt, that'll go back to normal. And uh, he still, once he sees someone, runs right up waiting for food. Completely healthy.